Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, go back to here. So, an actual insane amount of information and content coming. We obviously got Team of the Week today. Uh, there's like some new programs and everything. Uh, we'll talk about that after we talk about Team Diamonds. I think I'll do some more stuff. Maybe I'll rank the Team Diamonds in a later video. But let's go through them quick. Uh, just a quick information before we get to this stuff. Trophy packs. Apparently, we're getting them. You know, the ones that we earned previously, plus another one. They're going to boost head-to-head -head rewards for a month with an extra trophy pack. So, that's going to start sometime soon, they said. Um, house rules rewards are still looking into. The highest priority right now for them is the field pass issues. It was weird because, like, mine was working. My field pass was totally, you know, working totally. And now today, after that update yesterday, I'm not getting any uh, progress towards that for, like, weekend league or anything. So that's kind of frustrating, and a lot of people are pissed for righteous reasons. It kind of sucks. I agree. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and then some Team of the Week stuff. And let's get to Team... Let's do Team Diamonds for Team of the Week since I'm more interested in this stuff. Let's see. Matt Forte. Cool. Awesome, right? Like, really neat card. There is an insane amount of them, though, right? So, let's keep going. Willie Anderson, they're going to get discounted abilities, too. I didn't write down which abilities uh, on each one. I'm like, he'll get, like, Edge Protector for 2 AP, which is cool. But they all kind of go together. And each one of these guys also gets a boost for their, you know, team. Like, Willie Anderson, I think, gets, like, you know, some sort of pass block boost for all, uh, 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 you know, Cincinnati bengalis rivals but it, so it like boosts their whole like theme team right so it's also gonna be two times Bengals chem for whatever like jersey they're wearing and it's gonna boost that for so just fyi this one pete right here is six seven this is like this is like the new parham right he's only one inch short of the parham four speed faster high end run block this might be one of the best cards we've seen for his like position versatility right you can throw him out of wide receiver even 89 speed it's not the fastest but like the top speed we're getting right now is 92 so overall wow like this one boosts short route running on the bills terrell davis another studly running back so we are going to get flooded with positions that we have a lot of cards in but you know the most exciting guys in the games are quarterbacks halfbacks wide receivers right so expect a lot of those just that's just like a mutt staple through and through this guy was an absolute like legend for those broncos teams in the mid 90s there pretty cozy are here for the browns doesn't look too insane i will say doesn't look too crazy at all with the speed uh but of course we'll have to see what his throw motion is like and everything and a lot of these cards will change based off your scheme your abilities everything you want to use jimmy giles right here giles i don't know i don't know how to say the last name 89 speed there lower run block so i don't think it's nearly as good as the the bills guy but uh it's not a bad tight end uh regardless darnell docket uh block shed power move on the interior is very nice there charlie joiner a wide receiver all the route running thresholds but we know route running is kind of whatever it's all ability based so charlie's yeah uh we then have ed bud ed bud that's kind of cool or uh, booty uh, Djibouti. Um, is that the capital of Djibouti for the Kansas City Chiefs? Not bad. I mean, you, they do need offensive linemen. Event, Team Diamonds is not a terrible time to get an offensive lineman for a long-term, healthier squad. Um, Burt Jones, actually pretty decent mobility here for a, a Colt. It's actually looking like one of the better cards. Jason Witten here, 89 speed, so a little slower, a little worse run blocking than the Bills guy. He's also 6'6", six, six, so an inch shorter, but still pretty darn good. Mark Clayton, kind of a smaller receivers, and smaller receivers aren't as good this year. Uh, I remember last year, I remember he was like one of the first guys that could beat man coverage. Was that two years ago now? Early on in the game, when it was a, I think it was a man coverage game in 21, and he was like the first one to kind of save us. Keith Byers, is he related to the Will Byers? For, oh, never mind. Keith Byers for the Eagles here. Pretty good looking card. We then have D'Angelo Hall, fast corner. And the crazy thing is about defense, like, I feel like no matter how tall I have, they'll still get spec out on. So, like, even though he's not, like, the tallest dude, I'm like, you know, I don't care. I'm just going to try and wipe out their legs anyway since they'll spec catch on me because the animations, the offense get this year so much better than defense, um, especially when you click on either side. That's, I'm fine with it. Joe Perry, 91 speed at fullback. 
put him at halfback, put him at tight end, and you got yourself a mismatch there. At least a tight end, halfback, a lot of them. Uh, that's uh, speed. Anyways, Keith Hamilton. Isn't even that one thing about the uh, America's founding? Or is that a different Hamilton? Defensive tackle, run stopper here. Not really great against this pass, but high end block shed is not a bad thing to have. We then have Tony Baselli for the Jacksonville. I think that's like their only legend ever. They got like two, maybe uh, uh, Maurice Jones, Drew, and Baselli, like the only good players to ever play for that franchise through like, you know, history. Obviously, 2017 squad was pretty good. Jalen Ramsey's good. Victor Green, strong safety here. Pretty, pretty solid. Um, uh, Glover Quinn, I think Glover got deep out elite for one AP. So that's really nice for him for as, as far as a, a powerful ability, um, a double D rate here, not hitting the 90 speed is 91. You really want to see speed at 92. Now so Lincoln 91 is, is, is not the greatest, but it isn't, it isn't that lacking. Greg Olson at tight end here. Um, but good speed, run block a little bit low, but overall a more of a receiving tight end, obviously. Lawyer Malloy, high end hit power, if you guys remember how he played. Incredible. It is kind of crazy. I think it's like, dude, it's clear bias. I think you got like either agility or acceleration for all Patriots players, which is way better than some guys got run block finesse, which literally doesn't even matter. But yeah, Lawyer Malloy is, is incredible for the Patriots theme team to get that boost. Rod Martin here with 92 finesse move, 89 speed. Um, was this the one that got double nothing for one, which I think is just crazy. Kevin Carter here. It was either him or somebody else. I, I, I kind of don't recall off the top of my head. 87 speed, 94 power move for Carter. Um, I'm excited a lot about these sets too. Jacoby Jones, he's a nice tall receiver, 6'3". And he's looking like one of the better ones, of course. London Fletcher. But the linebackers aren't that valuable. But a high-end zone, head power, speed. Yikes. That's kind of wild for uh, uh, Washington's team. Sammy Knight. 93 hit power, 93 zone. Another solid card. Looks a lot like Laurie Malloy right there. Doug Baldwin. Doesn't hit the thresholds there. But it is it is what it is. It's all about the abilities nowadays. And then the Heinz Ward. They gave him like the slowest speed of the receivers. They basically gave him tight end speed, it looks like. And then bad route running. They gave him honorary lineman for one AP. Just, eh. Eh. Looks like a pretty crappy receiver to me. Brian Cushing. This one looks like the worst card of the whole bunch. <laughs> Texans got screwed. Samari roll here. Um, good zone, good speed on a corner. Uh, for the Titans and Chad Greenway. All right. So those are the cards. Team of the week. Um, I don't know if you guys, we've already seen, oh, no, 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 I guess we didn't see the, um, 90s that came. All right, so, for the team of the week, we are also getting Leonard Floyd. I feel like Floyd, wait, is Floyd the one that's getting double nothing for w one AP? I think it might have been, actually. This card is crazy if he gets double nothing for that little amount, uh, when you stack it on with edge threat. So, Floyd looks really nice. He's kind of like, you know, whatever as a player. He's always living in Aaron Donald's shadow. I guess he was okay in Chicago. He's always been like, I feel like he's always been good, but not great. Richard Seymour, he's been great. He was great. Another Raiders squad card, of course. Todd Heap, Ravens and tight ends, name a more iconic duo. Uh, Heath Miller better, though. Thibodeau got an 89 overall. Um, Deion Jackson. Now, this is the Matthew Berry program. So, if you collect every single Matthew Berry card at the end of Season 2 here, we'll be end up getting, like, a, a set. So, make sure and hang on to these 89s or whatever they are going forward. It's the high card, not the low card. Uh, I guess this one doesn't have the low card. But, apparently, you're getting, like, an 84 also for doing some solos. So, that's a sweet solo reward, EA. Hashtag Packstrike. Bailey Zappi. Zap, 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 zap. So they, all these cards suck, right? Quinnen Williams is an absolute destroyer. He literally like won that game. And they're like, eh, 86. So yeah, we know these things are just pack fillers. Not that big of a deal. So how to prep for Team Diamonds, right? Um. Oh, one more thing. Karloftis, they're not showing. This is 90 overall Karloftis. You're going to be able to get international collectibles. Uh, for Karloftis that you have to do like like stadiums and jerseys and stuff and he'll get like you know theme teams of all the teams playing international this year so anyways they said team diamonds is gonna be individual set players so 92 overall means 
it's going to be expensive. So, like, Heinz Ward is going to have all the Steelers cards. So, 22,000 training with their cards. Steelers, I like, it might not be a bad idea. If you, if you want to do one specific team, you know, right now, go through that team. You're going to want to get, like, golds and stuff. But I want to just, like, take a look at program cards. And obviously, some cards, like, I don't think... And I might be wrong here. I don't think we're going to get, like, these, like, me and Joe Green would be too much, right? I don't think we're going to be getting rookie premieres in the sets because there's literally no way of getting rookie premieres right now. Uh, but TJ Watt could very well be in the set, right? Now, I'm just going to grab TJ Watt just because I want to. Now, he is, this is 10K over training value for an 88, but I'm just going to grab it just in case. And I want to do the Steelers. And I, I don't think I'll be able to do them all day one a little under the weather i don't know how we'll be able to stream the whole time but i don't know they probably won't have legends what do you guys think will they have legends i don't know um uh, 86 87 we'll have minka do we think team of the week minka will be in it dang that'd be tough that'd be really tough if these cards are if like program specific cards that aren't incredibly easy to find on the block go into the set too um so I, I did talk about yesterday with the team affinity cards which would be crazy expensive 145 for that friar um uh, but yeah definitely expect the low end elites to be in here at least team builders like chase um i want to get some 80s and 82s to build those but uh be prepared the set's gonna be painful now that they're 92 unless ea is generous with us because of, you know, pack strike and they realize how angry we are to how bad the game's been. But that's all I'll say is yeah, it's too bad they didn't give us a, an example of a set. It's really too bad they didn't show us exactly what's all uh, happening. But yeah, that's that's the Team Diamonds. That's everything. Um, uh, I'm sure there's more to go, but uh, we'll talk and I'll see you guys soon. Peace, dude.